Okay, here's some troubleshooting on the Jawduino. So this Jawduino that I have here works perfect. Here's the audio jack. And as you can see that I have it soldered here and here. And I did a little bit better job at this one. So it's just touching this one and it's just touching this one. Uh, it's not touching, see this middle metal plate right there? Um, it's just touching this, the little tab that's coming out. And that's what this auto jack is. This power indicator module here. As you can see right here, I have it soldered here, here, and here. Now there's two, there's pods underneath it. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I have them just on these three. These are not touching these bottom pods that are underneath it. It's just soldered to these pods here. So it's not touching these metal ones. So as long as you have everything plugged in like it's supposed to. Now this board has two 5Vs. So how I have this, I've got this one is the volt. Here's the ground. And here's the signal. Now we're going to plug in the audio. And we're going to plug in the board. Now you should not at this point, you should not be getting any lights on this. If you do, that means you have something that is uh, like causing it to ground out. So that means your soldering is not what's it's supposed to be on this. Okay, so I have the volume going, and you see how it's just barely touching. That means the volume's not high enough. So you could see it going a little bit. It's not moving, it's not high enough. So as I increase the volume, Sometimes you got to turn up a little bit more. So now it's going zero to the halfway mark. And you see the servo is moving just a little bit. Now that's based on how I have my settings set up. Now if I turn it up more, now you get to the green and yellow. That's where you want to get it to. Turn up a little bit more. And now you hit the red ones, which gives it the full motion. Now, if you turn it up too high, it's going to stay like that because it's too high. The volume is too high. So turn down the volume a little bit. To get it to occasionally hit the red. Okay, so this is the same board, but here's another of the audio one that I did. In this soldering, I kind of did a hack job on it, not too well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to oh god dang I don't remember which one it was 
the in volt and then the okay so the yellow one is like the line and the orange one will be the ground so just make sure you have that one right so black ground uh, it's also easier if you have the same colors for everything obviously i didn't but ground to ground the line to line or red the five volts whatever we want to do all right so same board different audio jack so i got that plugged in that's fine and let's play the music so that one works fine too so obviously that wasn't that bad of an idea or a bad job yeah it doesn't matter either all right well let's do the second let's try this out Let's take this out and put on another one. So here's one that I did a real hack job on. Look, look at that. So look, the soldering is just trash. I got both of the pods in there. They're all mixed up. I mean, this is a real bad soldering job. So let's, let's replace this. Okay, so we're going to try, so here's my other one here. I want to show you how trash this one is. Look at my soldering on this. It is super bad. So I kind of just did a glob, glob, glob. So you remember I was telling you how they have these two little parts on it? Like these two pods. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You want to only do these up here and not touch these. So look how trash it is. I have both of these covered. So when I plug this in, uh, this goes, so this goes to ground. This goes to the IN that you see on there. And then right here, the orange is the ground. So I put the, remember I'm just using these colors. You might want to use just red and black and then yellow for line. Makes it easier to remember because I forget. So anyways, I plug that in. So I got to ask backwards. Hmm. He may got it backwards. So ground to ground. Okay. So that's what I did wrong. So right here, the black here is to the ground. And the white here is to the 5V. And you see how it's set up right here. So on the bottom of these four, ground 5V. That powers up this board. And then this one, these are hooked up to the audio one. So I got yellow as my, or I got the orange as my ground. Like I said, it's easier if you just use consistent colors. I don't. That's why I always mess it up. So once I plug it in, check out what this thing is doing. It is all funky. And this is not even moving. And it's going from green to red to green to red. And it's all because of this soldering right here. So let's bring back. So this one is why I have the better soldering here. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Those little things there. I only have them on this bottom row here. They're not touching those other ones. So let's plug this one in. And you can already tell because I have the audio going. Look. Look what the difference makes when you have a good soldering right here. Now, this is not moving because I haven't put these in the A0, A1, and A2. So, I guess long story short, make sure this soldering on this is really good. These are these top pods. Don't do trash like that. That is all gooped up. Or this one. Look at this. That is horrible. So look at the difference between the two. And hopefully that helps. Oh, well, here. Just so you could... Now remember, you could change the numbers on the Arduino code to have a bigger difference between when it doesn't detect anything to when it gets to the red to the overload. You can always change the numbers so it have a higher movement. So if it's barely moving, then the audio is not high enough or your numbers don't have a dip <clears throat> too much of a gap between each other. Okay, I hope this helps.